Welcome back to Blake's Den. Um, I'm doing something on Project Designer. Hey, it's been ages since I've done anything on this. Um, it's always a low priority project, this car. The other vehicles take priority because they get used more often. Um, so my Mini, my other Mini, which lives in here. See, peeking through the gap there, one of the other projects and the Land Rover and the um, Hyundai as well. But I'm going to do something on this, so I need to pick up where I left off. And the job I've been putting off and putting off and putting off is cleaning the floor underneath the, um, the seat base and, and, and the boot floor. Getting all that cleaned and then painted before I put the subframe back in. So I'm going to make a start on that today. The first job I want to do is I want to raise the car up on my CJ Autos tilting 3-in-1 tilting lift. Fantastic product, check out the video of that. Um, and I want to tip the car forwards to expose as much of the floor as I can to work on it in the most ergonomic way possible. Now to do that, I just lift, lift the jack up and the tilt, but I've got no weight at all in the back here. There's no suspension, no subframe, no fuel tank, no boot lid. There's a window missing, there's no seat in, it's dead light. So I'm worried, and ask me how I know this, because I found out the hard way once. If I lift this up and tip it, the whole car is going to slide forwards. Because there's just not enough weight to, to create the friction to stop it from sliding. So I'm going to put a ratchet strap around here first, and then I'm going to jack it up. Right, I've got a ratchet strap on. Um, just loose for now because I need to lift up the car. So if I go around the other side and power up the drill, it should lift the car up and I've got the front on the jack. I think where I want this, and by the time I tilt it, yeah, the front end can go down more and the back end will come up. So let's try tightening up this ratchet strap. No, I don't want to do that first. I want to lower this end first and see what happens. So hopefully you can still see. I know it's a little bit dark under here, but I've got on a trolley jack and I've got a couple of axle stays. I'm going to set them to roughly the height I want. And then I'm very going to slowly lower this down. Right, before I go any further, I want to tighten up that strap now. Whole thing from sliding into me. All right, that's nice and tight. And then if I just lower it the last little bit. It's on the axle stands now. Jack is free. Let's see what we've got. So we've got the strap holding it and we've got this end a lot higher now. So if I come back, there we are. And I think that's about where I want it. So that'll give me free access to clean the floor. So we now see what we've got. So Wheel arch is all done, and I've got a plate I still need to put on there. I think, did I put the plate on the other side? Yeah, so I've put the one on the other side, but not this one yet. That's fine. So how this looks with the red oxide paint, or the Bonda rust primer, that's what I need to do to the whole floor. So there's an old adage, how do you eat an elephant? And the answer is one piece at a time. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to tackle the heel board first. And then I'm probably going to do the battery box, and then I'll do various elements of the floor. 
Uh, and I'll show you what tools I'm going to use to get this cleaned up. The tool that's going to do most of the heavy lifting is this, my angle grinder with a strip and clean brush on. It's like a fiberglass or fibrous brush. Absolutely fantastic. Will take you back down to bare metal in no time at all. Um, there's obviously there's going to be bits I'm not going to be able to get at, uh, like corners. So I'm going to use a um, like get a rotating file for that, um, like a very thin belt grinder or sander. And uh, I've got a wire brush as well. I'll use to tackle some bits. So as a starter, I'm going to tackle this bit first because it's nice and easy to get to. Quick half time update on the heel board and yeah it's gone all right and you can see I've got it back to bare metal in places. Uh, there's two little recesses where the fuel line goes and the brake pipe goes and some brackets on there. I'm going to bend those out of the way. I'll have to hit those with a wire brush. It'll be a bit easier to do it with a wire brush I think. Um, I'll be putting a new fuel line on and new brake lines on anyways. I'm not worried about damaging them. But the brackets need to be saved. Um, in case anyone was wondering, this is what I'm using for PPE as well. So I've got a full um, sort of respiratory mask thing with filters in, ear defenders, and a full face shield. So um, yeah, that's a lot better than using the um, goggles I used to use because um, yeah, my glasses steam up, and they don't steam up with this, so this is great. Right, hit the wire brush, and I'll do a bit more. It's going quite well. Um, got the bits off around both those brackets. Well, one bracket did break, but yeah, it's not the end of the world. Uh, and now the last thing I'm going to do is use this power file or finger file to clean up some of the bits here because it just can't get in now. We need to be careful with this. This is fairly abrasive. Whilst the other methods have been abrasive, and like such as the, uh, the wire cup on the grinder. Um, I don't actually want to take metal off, I just want to take the surface down to bare metal. So I'm going to be very careful with this, very gingerly uh, use this and get this cleaned up and, and then I'm not going for immaculate, I just want to highlight the areas which is still a bit rusty and then I can put rust killer on that before I paint it. So right, let's crack on with that. Well I'm relatively happy with how that's come out. It's not perfect, I never expected it to be perfect. Um, obviously I've still got the boot floor to do but I'm just doing one bit at a time here. So next job is I need to treat it with some rust killer and I use this which is Built Hamber Hydrate 80. Really good stuff so I'm going to paint that all over the heel board. There are some rust patches I don't know if you can see. So there is little bits here and there so that'll just I'll kill that off really. Oh fall over. Um, the best thing to do is don't dip your brush straight in the vert, put it in a separate pot. So I'll put it in a separate pot and then I'll paint that on. What you find with this stuff is a little bit goes quite a long way so don't get too excessive with how much you put in your pot. And uh, yeah just just paint it on and then the next clip you see will be tomorrow for me be seconds for you and all this will have gone off and it will go as like a black colour uh, when it reacts with all the rust and, and kills it off so I shall show you that in a matter of seconds actually a couple of days later now that's all gone off you can see how it's all gone black and funny colours and reacted with the rust so next job is do the same on the floor. Uh, I've actually already done some of it previously, which I'd forgotten about, and put some rust converter on in various places. So um, yeah, cue the time lapse and I'll uh, blitz this.
Well, it probably doesn't look any different, but I think it's best I'm going to get. The key thing is all the old underseal is off and it's exposed areas which need a bit of rust treatment, like here. Um, I think it's, yeah, other than putting the car on a rotisserie or acid dipping it, I think that's the best I'm going to get. Um, before I treat it with Hydrate 80 Rust Killer, there's a little patch I need to put on over here. A little strengthening plate, there's, there's one over the other side, you can probably just see it in there. Uh, for some reason I didn't do this ages ago when I, when I did the job, so um, I need to put that in now. So I've got the plate there with a bit of um, weltering primer on, and I'll use my Artec welder to put it on, on my new welding trolley. So if you haven't seen the video of that, check out the link above. That's gobbed on there, for the want of a better word. And not prettiest welding, but not too bad either. Uh, I'm going to seam seal round that, and then I'll treat the bits of rust I can see with Hydrate 80. That's now sealed up, and everything else is coated with the uh, Hydrate 80, so I'm going to let that flash off. It's quite a warm day, so it shouldn't take too long to do. Uh, I'm going to grab some lunch, and when I come back, We'll get this painted. Back from lunch, the rust converter has done its thing. And now to uh, paint with the Bonder Rust Primer, which is like a zinc rich paint. Mm, lovely. I've been looking forward to this bit actually. It just transforms the car once you get this on. So um, yeah, I'll set up the time lapse and we'll um, paint away. Hopefully I've got enough paint. I should have ordered another tin. But I kind of forgot. Just had enough for one coat. One not very good coat, so I'm going to order some more paint. And I'll get another coat on it tomorrow. A couple of days later and all the paint's dried. Not the best coverage, really. I was right at the end of the tin. Um, so it was a bit gloopy and a bit thick in places. So it needs a second coat. So I was going to do a second coat, and now I've got some paint. But um, thought if I actually video that, you are watching paint dry. So I decided that's probably not best content. So I shall do that bit off camera. So we'll leave the video there for now. Uh, I'm really pleased I've managed to make some more progress on this. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing the progress. Uh, the next steps will be getting the rear valance on painting the floor with some stone chip paint and then getting the rear subframe back in so hopefully i'll make some progress on that in the next few weeks so thank you for watching if you liked the video press the like button don't forget to comment and if you haven't already press that subscribe button it costs you nothing to subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified of all the new content as soon as it comes out okay see you in the next video bye for now